What's up guys, and the sighting has occurred. The Samsung Galaxy S10 5G prototype has been seen in a video. Along with that, we have some important changes that are about to happen, some interesting camera changes as well, and a sad, sad goodbye. Okay, so first up is this video, which is uploaded on YouTube on this YouTube channel called as Yunji TV. It's uh, a 5G launch, and the phone they're using is actually a Galaxy S10 5G prototype. It's hidden inside a case for obvious reasons, uh, but still, that can't stop us from seeing the hole on the corner of the display. Yes, it seems like there is a hole towards the right of the phone. As mentioned by Samsung Mobile.News that there is a prototype of the Galaxy S10 with a 3.7 millimeter hole on the front so this could be our first not so clear look of that now the dude is doing this 5g video call and it's not taking up the whole display which is why we cannot tell how bezel-less this galaxy s10 pro die really is other than that, uh, there is one UI up front. Uh, if you look at the navbar keys, these are the latest navbar keys with the uh, one UI. And also if you pay attention towards the back of the device, it has got a horizontal camera setup. And the case is covering the full back of the phone. Only the cameras can be seen. This is because Galaxy S10 is having the in-display fingerprint scanner. Uh, so there will be no fingerprint scan on the back. It's gonna have a clean look with triple cameras on the back in horizontal position. This basically confirms the leaks and rumors we've heard before that the S10 will indeed rock horizontal camera setup. The Samsung Galaxy A8s is the first Samsung phone to have an Infinity O display. As we have talked about it before, but it's going to be an LCD display and not the OLED one. So OLED is reserved for the Galaxy S10. And with this prototype, it seems like the hole could be on the right of the display. Again, it is a prototype. A lot of things can still change. But one thing that's confirmed is that the Infinity O is happening for sure. And the back has horizontal triple cameras. Also, Samsung is about to make the decision that uh, you guys might not like. So I made this video a couple of months ago talking about how Samsung could move on, how it may be the time to actually move on and kill the jack. And seems like this might be the time. The Galaxy A8s, according to Samsung Mobile.News, could lose the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It's going to be the first Samsung phone to have no jack. The Galaxy W series that is coming later on will also not gonna be rocking the headphone jack. The A8s is a high-end mid-range phone. It's not a flagship phone. I don't really see why they would do that on this phone. Maybe they want to first do it on a non-flagship phone so that people would know that, hey, a big change is coming and With A8S losing it, it can also happen with the Samsung Galaxy S10. Again, nothing is confirmed. Uh, Samsung might still have the headphone jack on the S10 family. Also, the clone war has started. The Samsung Galaxy S10 fake clone is out in the wild uh, based on the leaks and rumors. We can see the camera on the back. It's a horizontal, three cameras. Obviously, Samsung's version will be much better. Uh, it seems like these cameras are a little too long. Samsung will probably have them take less space and also it will be the cleanest design as well because the fingerprint scanner will no longer be on the back it will go inside the display now speaking of display the FCC document has leaked the display screenshot of Galaxy 8 as interface and based on that Samsung mobile.news updated his render and this could be the closest accurate representation of an infinity o display also the Samsung Galaxy F the foldable phone could be called as Galaxy Fold according to this a new trademark filing. It makes sense since it's a foldable phone. Again, it's not confirmed, just one of the options Samsung could go for when it comes to the naming of the Galaxy F. And lastly, Mark Peters from Let's Go Digital has sent me this document about the Samsung's camera change, something we have never really seen on a Samsung phone before, and that's a monochrome sensor. This patent reveals that Samsung is playing with a 20 megapixel monochrome sensor for their future camera setup. If you are someone who like to take black and white photos, then this is something that Samsung could implement at least on the 5G version because that has 
four cameras on the back. So far, we've heard that the Galaxy S10 Plus will have a setup similar to the Mate 20 Pro. We're gonna see a wide angle, super wide angle, as well as a telephoto lens on the back. Total of three cameras for the S10 Plus, and then two for the Galaxy S10 and S10 Lite. So anyways, that's all we have on the Samsung Galaxy S10. The first prototype look is here in the form of official 5G launch, Infinity O along with the horizontal cameras are happening and the finger scanner is going inside the display and the Galaxy A8S could be the first phone from Samsung to ditch the headphone jack and that means the future could also lose the jack so big big news day I would say big decisions let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if the Galaxy S10 loses the headphone jack would you still buy it and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.